Hi, this is Frederick from Avasa. In this video, we will look at an IoT platform example running on Avasa. The diagram you see now shows all the components that I have deployed. So let me walk you through those. So on each site where we're gonna run this, we're gonna deploy an Hive MQ for Edge. This is an MQTT broker that support Modbus, for example, and of course, MQTT sensors. So I've also deployed virtualized Modbus and MQTT sensors, and we will look at those in a moment. Also on the sites, we have like a temperature aggregation or anomaly detection uh, container. This container listens for or, or subscribes to temperature slash MQTT and Modbus data. It then normalizes that data, uh, it counts averages, and it all can also generate alerts in the Avasa system if temperatures are out of a certain range. The Hive MQ Edge is also configured, or all of them are configured to forward these topics. So temperature normalized and temperature average, average are forwarded to a central MQTT broker. In this case, I'm running Eclipse Mosquito. And they are forwarded in the way that the site name is appended to the, to the MQTT topic. And with that in place, uh, we can actually plot these in Grafana, which I'll show you in the demo. So the, the temperature data is fed into Influx using Tempo, and then Grafana can get that data from Influx. So let's take a look at what this looks like in the Avasa system first. Here you can see the control tower where I have a number of applications deployed. So this is the Hive MQ. I will just briefly show you what it, what it looks like. This is a vanilla uh, Hive MQ from, from Docker Hub. Uh, we also provide it with configuration uh, for example, this one instructs it to connect to a remote broker, uh, the Eclipse Mosquito, uh, and which topics to forward, uh, and so forth. It also talks to the Modbus application, the one you can see out here. So this is the configuration where HiveMQ goes to the Modbus sensor and picks up data from that one. So this one we kind of covered, it just exposes temperature data over Modbus. The MQTT sensor is, is a similar example app that publishes uh, temperature data into the HiveMQ. Then we have the anomaly detection uh, container. This is code that I wrote for, for the demo. So this one is basically talking to the HiveMQ uh, and it can also generate alerts if the temperature is below a certain threshold. So now it's, it's set at five degrees, so it won't actually generate any, uh, anything. But with all these uh, applications up and running, if I switch to my Grafana here, you can actually see that I get temperature data. So in this case, I can see that this is uh, MQTT data, from the site called Home Cluster. And I also have like uh, MQTT data from the site called uh, RH site. So this is just to show how data can be fed from a sensor into HiveMQ, going into the Mosquito, and then you can put it into an influx as I did or, or some other time series database, and then plot that using Grafana. Going back into the control tower, uh, let's make a change to this one. So I'm going to update the version and then I'm going to tell the system to start generating alerts when the temperature goes below uh, 19 degrees. 
So I'm going to submit this now. And once uh, momentarily here, when it's up and running and start getting data again, we should see alerts being shown. And here we go. So this tells me that I now had a, an alert in, in Avassa for a, a temperature low on home cluster. And this is just to show how you can use our APIs to generate custom alerts, some, some alert that makes sense for your application and feed those alerts into the Avasa system. And that concludes the demo. Thank you very much.